This is the tale of Awarua, the Tanifa of Porirua. A long time ago, when the hills were covered with the tallest native trees and birds filled the air, Porirua Harbour was much deeper than it is today. Inside the deep harbour lived a Tanifa named Awarua, who would venture out into Te Moana o Raukawa to hunt for food or visit friends, but would always return home to the harbour. One of Awarua's friends was an albatross named Rereroa. Rereroa would look for Awarua far below as she soared over Te Moana o Raukawa on outstretched wings, calling to her with an albatross karanga. <coughs> Rereroa would delight Awarua with tales of her journeys across the great oceans. She could fly for years without ever having to reach land, resting and feeding on the surface of the sea. Awarua would watch with awe as Rereroa would stretch out her great wings to be lifted into the sky on the wind. Awarua had small wings that helped her glide through the water, but she longed to soar through the sky like Rereroa. Rereroa could see the longing in Awarua's face and told her, You are lucky you have a home. I must always be flying and searching for food so I can stay alive. I would love to stay in one place and have a home like you do. That's kind of you to say, said Awarua, but I wish I could fly as you do. If you could stay for a while and teach me, I will feed you with the most delicious fish from my larder. Rereroa could only agree and they began their training the next day. Rereroa aimed to strengthen Awarua's wings by making her circle around the surface of the harbour and lifting heavy stones above her head. Awarua was exhausted after the first day of training and began to guzzle down her stocks of fish, but Rereroa put a stop to that, telling her, In order to stay afloat on the air, I need to stay as light as possible. Awarua found the training and diet very hard, but her desire to fly was too great for her to quit, and soon she was racing around the harbour and lifting stones with ease. After a few weeks, Rereroa decided Awarua was ready to try and take off. Awarua was overjoyed as she followed Rereroa to the south end of the harbour facing Maunga Fitarea. She picked up speed, gliding across the water and lift off with a hard push of her wings. But Fitarea was looming straight ahead of her. She crashed into it, taking down the trees that covered it. Luckily, Awarua was delighted at her first attempt and was eager to try again. This time, Awarua pushed off earlier than she had before and easily passed Fitarea, but in her celebration, she didn't see Mana Island in front of her and crashed again, sliding across the top of it. Despite this, she knew she had accomplished a great feat and celebrated with Rereroa with pride. Soon after, Rereroa had to leave for her journey across the great seas again, but she always remembered to come back and visit Awarua and see what new flying tricks she had learnt in her absence. Today, you can still see the results of Awarua's flying lessons in the huge gully in Fitarea and the flat top of Mana Island. <laughs>